is a E instantaneously, which means infinity uh, velocity, and all depends, so to say, on the entrance parameters, how you enter, how you fly into uh, the, the gravitational uh, center, but it virtually casts you into outer space to a different uh, location, and that's the effect we need to have, that's the theoretical possibility to bridge distances that can be as large as the diameter of the whole university, of course. Uh, uni universe, of course. Yeah, And that's uh, the important thing to remember here. But I will give some more detailed instructions about that. Um, okay, but before I proceed, I want to show you an animation of the cycloid here done in this computing uh, facility. Uh, I just need to start this right now. Hope it works. Yeah, yeah, we get it. There we have it. That's it. Very nice. So let me explain. So you see on zero level down here, we have the wheel rolling, but this has uh, this specific uh, diameter up here. So uh, that's the line which halves the wheel. And here you see this rotating rotating vector attached to the wheel which rotates and the wheel is rolling. The rolling of the, the wheel means that the midpoint of this rotating vector is shifted here in the x direction. You see these triangles which span uh, that uh, rotating stick, so to say. Uh, these are, so to say, uh, the triangles in which you have this psi angle uh, 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 rotating. So that drives the whole thing. But uh, the end of this stick, which is uh, longer than the diameter <coughs> of uh, the wheel, that uh, can you. Uh, that is something like, uh, so to say, uh, this if there is a pen now attached to that, uh, that. Um, is um, drawing that uh, uh, curve and you see that if you follow this eccentric um, stick rotating with the rolling wheel uh, this creates the cycloid uh, trajectory. That's the geometrical um, construction, how this uh, works, and we have the full mathematical uh, description for that uh, derived. So that's a very nice animation that makes this a little bit complicated thing much more uh, comprehensible because this leaflet-like trajectory um, is not so quite easy uh, to, to describe. Yeah? But that's uh, the, the easiest uh, construction symmetry that this has. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, I will um, continue in a moment. Okay. Let's proceed now with the lecture. So, in the graph of the cycloid, which we have seen in figure 7, R becomes zero at the point C when square root B squared plus 4AC 
over b times cos c1 is equal to 1, because then the 1 minus this expression is 0, of course, which is equivalent. Psi 1 is equal to arcus cosinus of b over square root b squared plus 4ac. The same point has a negative uh, time uh, coordinate square root c times tau zero c which is equal to square root c times tau of psi one minus tau zero is equal to b over two c times in brackets psi 1 minus square root b squared plus 4ac over b sine psi 1. And that's equal to b over 2c times in brackets psi 1 minus square root b squared plus 4ac over b times the square root of 1 minus cosinus squared of arcus cosinus b over square root b squared plus 4ac. And that's equal to b over 2c times in brackets arcus cosinus of b over square root b squared plus 4ac minus square root b squared plus 4ac over b times square root 1 minus b squared over b squared plus 4ac is equal to b over 2c times in brackets arcus cosinus of b over square root b squared plus 4ac minus square root b squared plus 4ac over b times square root b squared plus 4ac minus b squared over square root b squared plus 4ac. And that's equal to b over 2c times in brackets arcus cosinus of b over square root b squared plus 2 square root ac in brackets squared minus 2 square root AC over B. So now, since the cosine of an angle is the ratio between the adjacent and the hypotenuse in a rectangular triangle, the angle arcus cosinus B over square root B squared plus in brackets 2 square root AC squared is the angle in the rectangular triangle with the adjacent B and the opposite 2 square root AC. Thus we have arcus cosinus of B over square root B squared plus in brackets 2 square root AC squared is equal to the arcus tangens of 2 square root AC over B simply by exchanging the sides of these triangle and since the tangent of an angle in a rectangular triangle is the ratio between the opposite and the adjacent that equation holds and as we can get from that square root c times this search for time tau zero c is equal to minus b over two c times in brackets two square root a c over b